Hello people, this is my uh, DIY oscillator, voltage controlled oscillator. It's a very simple one and I like it because it has only one chip. It's a quad op-amp TL074, but it has um, accurate volt per octave tracking and frequency modulation input. I got the basic schematic from the internet and I'll put a link in the description but I modified it a little bit because the original schematic was using a positive thermal compensating resistor to compensate for the thermal changes and to make it stay in tune but I couldn't find a resistor with PTC positive thermal compensation so I modified the schematic to use um, negative thermal compensation and this PCB is the original one which I developed using the the PTC because I didn't know about this problem but then I figured out what's uh, going on because it didn't stay in tune and uh, it was uh, it was really bad with temperature because with PTC and this schematic it was uh, working the opposite way of how it should work so I changed the schematic and the PCB is now updated and I'll upload it to my Patreon uh, so you don't have to put it like that and it's it's just fine on the PCB but apart from that it, uh, it has the usual trimmer for uh, tuning the VCO and these are the two transistors which uh, work for um, exponential converter to convert the linear voltage coming from the sequencer to volt per octave it has to be mapped on a exponential curve and this is done by the exponential amplification of the transistors and they are two because this also works as a temperature compensation uh, in addition to the this temperature compensating resistor circuit that primes the control voltage to work with one volt per octave it has thermal compensation and uh, i um, used as a base this schematic from the internet but i changed the part with the thermal compensation because um, this is using positive thermal compensation resistor or ptc which are rare to find and they are more expensive so i couldn't find such a resistor and I uh, made the schematic to work with the much more uh, available NTC or negative thermal compensation resistors. I uh, had to put it on this side of the op amp instead of here in the negative feedback because it works the opposite way. Uh, so if um, if the temperature is higher, the resistance goes lower. Uh, and if I put it here, if the temperature goes higher, uh, the amplification will drop of this uh, op-amp. And uh, the PTC, if the temperature goes higher, the amplification rises. So we have it uh, the opposite way. So I put it here to work correctly. Uh, and I also adjusted the values of these other resistors very precisely with a lot of testing about a week um, i uh, tested it with temperature varying from uh, 10 degrees to 30 degrees centigrade to uh, ensure that the vco stays in tune in a wide temperature range uh, the two transistors here also work as a thermal compensation because uh, they work opposite to each other in a negative feedback way if this transistor is more open this transistor is more closed uh, so they counteract each other and the result is that um, the, um, the circuit works more linear and uh, better in varying temperatures but despite of that we also need the ther thermal compensation resistor because um, always one of the transistors uh, is outperforms the other so we have to compensate for that with this resistor and um, here this is the course like the rough tuning of the frequency uh, this is uh, 
the one volt per octave input and this is a frequency modulation input and uh, you could also add another thing like that but with one mega ohm resistor for fine tuning so let's plug it in and uh, hear what it sounds like um, this is the main tuning potentiometer the coarse tuning uh, this is the output and this is the volt per octave input and uh, this is the frequency modulation input and with this potentiometer you control the amount of uh, uh, frequency modulation and um, I could have added another potentiometer here for fine tuning and I think it's a really good addition because this changes the frequency very fast let me show you so this is the VCO without anything else directly to the input of my sound card and changing the main frequency you see just a tiny little bit of movement in this potentiometer changes the frequency a lot so it could be helpful to have a fine tuning potentiometer which does the same thing as this one but uh, you have to move it a lot to change the frequency a little bit and I'll show you a little bit later, but the problem comes when you have two VCOs, this is the same one, same schematic. But if you connect them both to uh, sound at the same time, you have to tune them to be in tune with each other. And it's a little bit hard when uh, such a small movement causes a drastic change in the frequency. But let's plug it into the volt per octave now. I won't show you the tuning process because there are a lot of videos for that and it's uh, the same for every VCO and I've tuned it already <sighs> but uh, you see now it changes with the voltage from the sequencer if I disconnect the volt per octave input it doesn't change so if here it's zero and I plug it in the frequency remains unchanged and now uh, the sequencer is feeding voltage here and the VCO reacts by increasing the frequency. So let's see how accurate this uh, VCO is. So I'll first tune it to E2. small movement causes the frequency to change a lot so you see every actually this is in minor scale but every change of tone should be in the scale changes this thing should always stay in the middle if it's in tune and you see E3 it's not figuring it out correctly but uh, the main thing is that it's in the middle so it's, it's good so this is the real E4 and uh, you see it's still in tune so that's two octaves. Only 
55 it's still perfectly in tune so that's three octaves so it stays in tune pretty well and uh, that's about the amount of uh, frequency that my cell phone can distinguish so this tuner is not very accurate but uh, I think it has at least four octaves of very good tuning so it's a pretty decent volt per octave tracking VCO so now let's connect the two oscillators together in the mixer to hear how it sounds like actually first let me show you the um, uh, frequency modulation this is a low pass filter sig uh, low frequency oscillator signal and it starts to modulate the frequency and this controls the amount of frequency modulation but if you set it to a very small amount and uh, adjust the frequency of modulation it can be used to produce a vibrato effect you know, that's like you're moving the string on a guitar to bend the note a little bit so that it's not perfectly exactly the same tone and changes a little bit and it produces a little bit more character in the sound so let's connect the, the second oscillator now oscillators in the mixer going in the mixer and they sound at the same time this is connected to the other uh, the other channel of the sequencer this changes the frequency of one of the oscillators and this changes the frequency of the other one but first things first we have to make them in tune so now they are not in tune and you can see how they sound very bad now they are in tune and uh, you can hear that but um, that's what I'm talking about if it has a fine tuning potentiometer it would be easier now they are playing exactly the same tone but they can be in tune also with one octave apart for example I think that's one octave apart but if you're not sure what you're doing you can use a tuner like that to tune one of the VCOs uh, to the frequency you want the other one also to the same frequency to make sure that they are in tune so now if they both play they sound in tune and now if uh, 
I change this potentiometer which gives the volt per octave voltage to the VCO they are always in tune with, e with each other despite I'm raising the frequency I mean they sound like a chord because uh, they are adjusted um, to be the same main frequency and now when I change it I just tap to it but they still uh, they still follow the same scale and after that you could continue to increase the complexity of the sound by adding a filter these are the two VCOs through the filter So you could put it through the reverb that I created, the reverb module. And this is the Diot Ladder VCO from Moritz Klein, it's a pretty good one, I think, very simple. Thank you. 